Welcome back guys. In this video, we're going to start diagnosing our low RPM issue on our port motor. Um, when we try to get it up to high RPMs, like up to 4,000 to getting a, the boat up on plane, the port motor is not getting up to 4,000 RPM. The starboard motor is working fine and getting uh, over the 4,000 RPM. So we're going to do some basic checks. First thing we're going to do is use a fuel pressure gauge. And when you're going to check the fuel, we'll compare it between the two motors when it's running to see what our fuel pressure is on the fuel rail on these Mercruiser 6.2 motors. All right, so these motors are 2006 Mercruiser MX 6.2 MPI Horizons. That was the standard motor on these Mer uh, Meridian 341s back in 2006. Of course, it's a gas-fueled engine. And we're going to find the fuel rail. This is the fuel line goes down around the back of the motor that goes down to the cool fuel module and fuel pump comes up taps into the fuel rail here and you're going to see there's a cap right here that you could unscrew to access the uh, port see there it looks like a tire valve so you're going to screw the fuel pressure gauge onto that start the engine and see what your fuel pressure is so this is the starboard engine, and this is the one that is running fine. So we're going to compare the pressure on the good running engine to the one that's running a little bit low. See if there's any difference in the fuel pressure. All right, so we have the fuel pressure gauge connected to the fuel rail port. And uh, we just situated the gauge here so we can read it easily. What I'm first going to do is just turn on the ignition to the motors up here. And what that does is pressurize the fuel rail, the pumps, uh, pump some fuel into the fuel rail. Okay, so it looks like the fuel pumped up to almost 50 PSI and now it's going down to 40 and it's slowly bleeding off it looks like all right so over a couple minutes looks like we lost a couple psi on the gauge don't know if that's normal but it'll be good to compare it to the other motor we're going to start it up now and keep an eye on that pressure and see what it does all right look like we're holding steady at 45 psi So now we're going to uh, test the port motor. Here we already have the cap taken off. You can see it looks a little bit different here, actually a mirror image of the other motor. But, uh, let's get the gauge on that Schrader valve and do the same test on this port motor. And this is the one that's given us the issue. All right, what you do want to be careful of when you're attaching and also detaching, especially when you're detaching this line, this uh, fuel pressure regulator a fuel pressure gauge on these rails is that the fuel is under pressure so just be mindful of that when you take it off you are going to have some fuel leaking so it's probably a good idea to have a uh, shop rag or something to catch that excess fuel around here so you don't make a mess and create a fire hazard all right i think we're all set here so this is the port motor let's uh turn on the ignition switch and see what the pump pre-pressurizes the rail too. All right, so it did the same exact thing as the other motor. It pressurized the rail to 50, and then when the pump shut off, it went down to 40. This one here, the fuel seems, the fuel pressure seems to be dropping faster than the other motor. We're already almost up to 37 PSI, 36. It's sort of stabilizing there at 35, 36 and a half PSI. So it did leak a little, but it just seemed like it leaked 
some of the pressure back a little faster than the other motor. Uh, one thing I did notice is that, I don't know if you can see my finger, it's a little wet. Uh, some of the fuel is sweating through the fitting, so I could be losing pressure right here from this gauge. You want to check that down below. You can see I'm a little, little bit wet. Smell it, it's gasoline, so yeah, we're down to 35 now. So now it could be just that, or it could be, again, uh, leaking back to the pump or leaking through a clogged injector that's not closing all the way. But uh, let's start this up and see what the pressure is when it's running. I expect it to be similar to the other motor. All right, looks like right around 45 PSI also. Port engine at 1,000 RPM. Alright, so same as before, the pressure is at 40 when it's at rest, but um, I don't see any real difference in the fuel pressure. I'll go back and look at these videos and see if there was anything different, but uh, we're going to move on to the next step of the diagnosis. Our plan is to replace all the plugs, the caps, the rotors, and, uh, and then see how it runs after we do the basic tune-up. So stick around, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.